Hey, good evening everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Hold on, I need to set up one more thing. Oh, yeah, I can't do it. Okay. Uh, t -t -t uh, hold on. Just a second. Hi, Shello. Okay, everyone. So, <laughs> today we're gonna play Ratchet and Clank 2. I'm super excited for it. It's my favorite in the series. We finished Ratchet and Clank 1 a few weeks ago, and I felt this was the right time to start the sequel. I didn't want to do it right away, but um, I think we're. I think it's time, <laughs> and I want to play it, you know? Uh. Other than that, you can notice the stream today is in 60 FPS. Uh, I'm doing this because I'm streaming from my P. Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna play the game on my PS2, so there's not gonna be a game running on my PC, so I can afford the additional CPU load. I tried to make the stream look as good as possible. Sorry if you get to uh, if you get. Test, not test notifications today, I'm so sorry. Um, Twitch has a... Uh, Twitch has a bandwidth test thing. But if you if you just stream to it... Um, if you st just stream a bandwidth test to it, it just... <laughs> you, you don't have video feedback. And I wanted to test some encoder settings. I had issues with colors and stuff. So that that's why that's why you had test notifications today. I'm sorry if this bothered you in any way. Uh let me do something. Okay. And we're going to switch to the game right now. I tried to make the game look as good as possible as well. So please give me your feedback on how it looks. If you like it or not. Okay, well maybe you don't have them on. I don't know. Uh, I I know someone. I someone one of my friends uh, told me they got the notifications for my test streams. So yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, you're gonna tell me about. Uh, oh, that's weird. I I. This intro, this intro sequence is funny because uh, <laughs> the explosion sound is way too late. <laughs> uh, we're not gonna play in sixteen by nine. Um, I chose not to play in sixteen by nine, even though the game supports it, because it does it in a in a way that's not great. It just like squishes the rendering so that when it's stretched on like the the video signal is still 4x3 but it's meant to be stretched so it looks normal but uh you lose a lot of field of view with that and the game looks so zoomed in it's it's not ideal the game looks way better in 16x9 and this game supports progressive scan so i won't have to do any sort of deinterlacing which is great so yeah uh let's turn on subtitles as well vibration is on so yeah, uh, tell me if you think the game looks good and stuff. If the encoding, if like there's no, there's not too much encoding artifacts on the video. If the sound balance between my voice and the game is good as well. Uh, okay, we'll start a new game. I had, I, I, I have a save file already. Just that was just to test some things out. I knew, I, I know this game by heart. So basically. <laughs> yeah, it looks good so far, but like there's no, there's no, this is not a lot of motion, you know. Hold on, let me do something. Okay. Yes, uh, <laughs> the internal battery of my PS2 is dead. <laughs> That's the reason why it says uh, 99. Oh, and it's one. Without without asking, it's put me back to the intro thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a hassle to replace, so I haven't bothered. It's not like you absolutely need it. So, whatever. Hey, well, let's get started, I suppose. 
Welcome back to Behind the Hero. Tonight's heroes are the duo who recently restored peace and order to our galaxy, Ratchet and Clank. So, gentlemen, tell us about your latest incredible adventures. Well, as you can imagine, we've been pretty busy. After Drek's defeat, there were parades, press conferences, fancy dress balls. And the wiener roast at Al's. Oh, yeah, that. And then <laughs> things started to slow down a bit. After that, we, well... There was the grand opening at Groovy Lube. Right. <laughs> I think that was last week. Six months ago. Oof. We're still pretty busy, but in a more uh, domestic sense. Yesterday, I flushed out my radiator core. I guess... No one needs a hero right now. Oh, We're gonna get stutters in the cutscenes. Uh, I can't do much about that, sorry. Miss Noodlebottom, I found our man! It shouldn't be super... frequent. Welcome! What the- I'm Abercrombie Fizzwidget, founder of the Megacorp Company in the Bogon Galaxy. Bogon? Yeah, I hope it says bum again. But our entire galaxy is in a very precocious situation. I must humbly request your sustenance on a mission of dire urgitude, a mission of superfluous peril, a mission of unequivocal imperitude. Did that make any sense? So, you need me to go on a dangerous mission in another galaxy. Indubitably. A few days ago, this top secret biological experiment was stolen from our testing laboratory by this duplicitous criminal mastermind. And I need you to get the experiment back. We'll do it. We will. Frank, I have precipitated your recalcitrance and have made special improvisations for you. We are prepared to give you a job as the head accountant for Megacorp, plus a penthouse suite in lovely Megapolis, and our state of the art robotic masseuse. Deal. <laughs> As for you, Ratchet, I'll need you in superlatory shape. While in transit to the Pokemon Galaxy, you will undergo heavy training and conditioning, including martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, macrame, ballroom dance, and origami. I like how they already have illustrations with Ratchet in it. We've used bipolar vector regurgitation to track the thief's location to a flying base in Sector 7. In film, tribulate the base and retrieve the experiment. Sir, ready for launch. I find it funny when <laughs> they make characters that use wrong words. <laughs> like this one. Reminds me of um, Red White in Nice Attorney. I'm on final approach to coordinates 37 Alpha. Good luck. I'm counting on you. Affirmative. Beginning radio silence. Let's go! So, a big change in this game is you can finally strafe properly. <laughs> I guess that's something that Richard gained in his special training. <laughs> um, also, uh, yeah, the camera controls are fine. Uh, something cool is that. There's upgrades, weapon upgrades that you get um, by using them, <laughs> contrary to the first game. Something a bit annoying about this game though is that there's only one upgrade level per playthrough. Um, there's only two, but the second one is only available. There's a second upgrade level, it's only available in NG+. But basically, like, you use a weapon until you you can level it up, and when it's leveled up, you don't actually use it anymore because you are. Uh, you need to level up other weapons. But it's fine because those upgraded weapons are still super good on bosses. I mean, I say you, but that's how. <laughs> I've never had this uh, <laughs> this uh, voice line before. Again, this is the first time I'm actually playing through the game in English. Uh, what do I want to, to say? Yeah, upgraded weapons are really good against bosses, so that's that. And then you finish off the bosses without with an unupgraded weapon, so that that weapon gets a whole lot of XP from it. 
So yeah, this is my favorite game in the series because... Hey Foxy! Hello! How are you doing today? Uh, what do I... what was I saying? Yeah! You, you finish off the boss with an upgraded weapon so you can get a ton of... Uh, of XP. I'm doing fine, I'm doing fine. I'm... Okay, sure. I'm doing good because <laughs> I have two weeks off, <laughs> so I'm gonna I, I, I'm gonna try to um, stream more during these two weeks. There's a cutscene coming up. I'm gonna try to stream more during these two weeks. Uh, next week, it's probable that I won't stream much because <laughs> I I will go on vacation somewhere. Um, I want to go on vacation. To go see a friend. Hi, Curly Fidget. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to vacation in England, visiting a friend. So I'm looking forward to that. At least I hope I'm still planning planning stuff. I see it's time to update my security forces. Whoa, whoa, no, hey, no, no. Look, I'm just here to fix the Hi, transflexor coil. Nice try. Give my regards to Megacorp. Finish him. <laughs> it, I, I, I don't know how as an adult lapstick comedy still works so well on me. <laughs> I actually tend to focus on only one weapon at a time when I play through this game. I say that because I played, I probably play, I probably finished this game like five or six times already. I love this, guys. It's so weird how they have this cutscene in the middle of uh, the first level. You don't see that much. Maybe it's like something they added like towards the end of the game's production or something because it wouldn't have made sense how the tags for less get into a picture. Thankfully, the gravity bomb, which is super cool. This game. You can aim your lancer more accurately by holding L1. So, yeah, no, I never use that except for like sniper weapons, because <laughs> it takes so much time to aim with the controller. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, this game has the best planets and weapons in the series, and. I don't know, I just like the vibe of this game. It's like a weird in between of like the first game where Ratchet like doesn't in I mean Ratchet does interact with the characters in this game, but like it's pretty solitary, there's this weird solitary vibe going on. But there's also the more futuristic armor and stuff that you see that's like become a default in the Ratchet and Clank series. Because yeah, in Ratchet and Clank 1, like, Ratchet was just a guy wearing suspenders. Um, the interface was pretty low fee it was, it was imitating, like, um, um, CRT displays? I... <laughs> In this situation, I would just have put out the weapon and shot at them, but yeah. Where's his friend? Well, 
Whatever. <laughs> I guess they're disposable. <laughs> even among Rat even amongst in, themselves. Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an emission which may lubricate. <laughs> Illubricate. Do you have any maps for this quadrant of the galaxy? You bet, mister! We got galactic maps, 3D maps, foldouts, cutouts, maps to the stars, and their homes! <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I forgot my wallet. Could you, you know, take care of this? Which can a map be? How, how expensive can a map be that you need to rob a fucking store? <laughs> I guess it's just to kick the dog moment, but like... Also, like, <laughs> this is nothing, but like... The backdrop of these loading screens look the most beautiful in this game. They don't look as good in Ratchet & Clank 3. Because maybe the, we're in the Bogon galaxy right now, not the Solana galaxy, which is the galaxy that... Um, Ratchet & Clank 1 and 3 take place in. Uh, so maybe like, I don't know, the <laughs> the space is different here, I don't know. But yeah, the, the Ratchet & Clank 3 backdrop went back to more how it looked like in, uh, in Ratchet & Clank 1. You know what, I always go this way first. I'm gonna go this way instead. This plan- like, so many planets are good. This one is so good because it has an abandoned store and I just love the vibe. Yeah, what I was saying is that, um... The, like, I didn't- I don't- I'm not saying that Ratchet & Clank 1 had- didn't have, like, high-tech moments or whatever, but, like, the tech in Ratchet & Clank 1 in the environments, it looked more like cartoony, more low tech mixed with advanced, advanced stuff. Here it starts being, in most places, like more industrial. I don't know if that's the right word, but you know, just more generally futuristic. You know, less cartoonish. Oh yeah, I, I guess maps can get expensive, but like, I don't know why that mysterious thief felt the need to rob them, you know? Yeah, I, I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't go all the way to calling it Dream Dark. Uh, Ratchet Ratchet Gladiator gets g went there. It went to the like darker and edgier. It wasn't like super dark and edgy, but definitely way more than uh, the rest of the series, and actually, like, intend to play it. I, I intend to play the whole four games that release on PS2, basically. And I, I thought that I, I said this in my in my Ratchet and Clank streams, uh, in my Ratchet and Clank one streams. Oh yeah, the, uh, a lot of these enemies are friends. Unfortunately, I need to kill them, but yeah, some enemies are cute. <laughs> it's like a whole. Oh no, the bestiary is only in the post game. Oh. Too bad. This whole bestiary, like a Pokedex of enemies in this game, that you unlock after the first playthrough and it gives you a, a short description of every enemy you encounter in the game. And I found that awesome, and they never did this again, which is a real shame. Oh yeah, these guys, these guys are friends. They're not enemies, actually. They they look a bit scary at first. Like, their teeth are... a bit crooked and stuff. And their eyes are a bit scary, but... They're very friendly. They just wanna bring you where you need to be. It was really nice of them. They look hungry? Do they?
need to look at the map. I don't... At the same time, I don't want to miss secrets. At the other... Uh, I'm not necessarily going for a completionist playthrough, but... No, wait. Hold on. Yeah. But yeah, um... I sh I, I, I just should find more, uh... Mmm, crunchy bolts. Mmm. I need to play more PS2 games on stream. I like have ways to make PS2 look as good as this, so I should really take advantage of it. Oh, I'm going. I think. Yeah, I think I'm going backwards here. Yeah. Mmm, yummy bolts. So, is my voice fine? Um, is the volume fine? Is my voice loud enough to be heard? Um, on top of the game? Okay, good. Thank you. And yeah, I hope the video quality is good today. As I mentioned at the start of the stream, uh, just for this stream and... I, get, I, I initially said I would only stream in 1080p 30 FPS, but... The, I don't I don't have a strong reason to limit myself to that. So it's gonna depend on what I stream. If 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 30 FPS is the best option I'll do it. If 60 F if I can permit allow myself to use 60 FPS, I'll do it. I may even stream in 720p 60 FPS for games like Valorant. You hear some crackling. Uh, I uh... okay. I don't hear any. Are other cracklings on my voice or in the game? I also <laughs> put the mic a little bit farther from my mouth, just so that I'm not peeking <laughs> the the meter. In my voice. Okay, well, it should be a little bit better now. Then. Also, the reason I'm springing 60 FPS is uh, is that um, I'm also using OBS to get the feed from my capture card. And if I... <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to stream in 30 FPS, maybe I should find another solution. But... Um, yeah, basically, I'm having like a projector window with a with only the game. Welcome, welcome. Uh, if everyone could take their seats, we can proceed with today's demonstration. First, I'll need a volunteer. Anyone? Excellent. Your name, sir? Ratchet. Hey. I love the sound of this and thing. And there makes. you have it! The Megacorp Tractor Beam in action! Let's give it up for our volunteer! Clap. Sir, how about taking advantage of Claps our in show the chat. special? Give it up for Ratchet. Uh, how much does he want? Oh, yeah. Thank Good. you, sir. Way more than you enough. won't be disappointed. Also, maybe there's a bit more delay now. Objects which have glowing orange targets like these. Press circle to move those columns. Okay, I'm gonna try enabling something, and you are going to tell me if it uh, if it provokes stutters. If it causes stutters. Okay, so if the stream is stuttering now, do tell me in the chat. I love those sounds. Any major stutters? Okay. 
I'm just I'm, I'm just keeping an eye on my CPU usage. Uh oh, it's stuttering then. The tractor beam moves small and medium sized. It shouldn't be stuttering anymore. I disabled the thing that I uh. circle to move those columns so you. I had enabled. That's yeah. They. Uh, I actually tr uh, I tried the zero latency parameter in the encoder, so I get less latency, but unfortunately it doesn't work. With OBS default setting, I got so little latency, it was... <laughs> yeah, I disabled the stutter, it's basically a stutter toggle. Yeah, just the zero latency setting, it just ups the CPU consumption by a lot. I'm still at 100% CPU, well, because my... My avatar is also taking quite a bit of CPU. Okay, so I got the tractor beam already. To go to a new planet, you'll have to find new coordinates on this planet first. Oh, I can enter my ship anyway. Hello, Quet! Welcome to the stream. I'm streaming in English tonight. You can talk to me in French, that's okay, but I will reply to you in English. This is a threat. I was about to say, imagine being forced to learn a language as a threat, but then I remembered that... And I was about to say, that's what happened to my ancestor. I mean, it wasn't under threat, but it it wasn't... It's not my... Oh, look at this guy. Well, bye. See ya. It's one of my jokes, I say bye <laughs> when something disappears on stream. Okay, it was ironic French, okay. It's fine. It's okay to speak French if you do it ironically, okay? Take notes. But yeah, my... It's not my ancestor, my own mother <laughs> had to, like, learn to speak French. I mean, in school and stuff, because she was speaking uh, a dialect of French. Oh, this guy's gonna get eaten. He still gets eaten if you kill all the enemies before you come here. Also, how many, how many of these guys are there? Yep. Oof, get away from me. Yeah, uh, the Lancer isn't the optimal weapon for the big guys, but... XP! <laughs> I want the XP! And you know, maybe in another stream, or even tonight if I feel like it, we might just go back to Ratchet & Clank 1 and f look for gold bolts. And now that I'm saying that, I remember that I just, um, when I finished it, I started a NG Plus save file, so I could go back to the old save file, but... Yeah, maybe one day I'll do, like, completionist streams of, uh... Ratchet and Clank, like LG Plus playthrough. I don't want to overdo one game or one game series though, so just like the gap that there was between Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2, um, there's, there's going to be a gap between 2 and 3, and it, when I'm done with the whole tetralogy of games on the PS, uh, of Ratchet and Clank on the PS2, I might not come back to LG Plus them before a while. <laughs> I think it would be fun, like, going for, like, all gold balls, all achievements, uh, what do they call achievements in these games? Skill points. Do I hear another guy crying for help? They really can't catch a braid. Oh, he never saw this guy! I've never seen this guy. Has he been removed of, from the European version? 
I have no memory of seeing this guy. Yay, mini boss. Okay. Just whittle down its HP with the, the gravity bomb because it's way stronger. And then I'll finish it off with the, the Lancer. Yeah. I mean, Peggy. In Europe, it's the Peggy. The Peggy. No, it's just Peggy. And not Peggy, like, the name Peggy. P-E-G-I. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Shiloh, since you're in Portugal... Oh, no! I killed it with my fucking wrench! Oh, no! I threw away so much XP! I accidentally killed it with my wrench! Uh, yeah. Uh, Shadow, since you're in Portugal, I always, I always remember how, um... When I was years ago, years ago, in vacation in Portugal, I got a DS game, a Portuguese copy of a DS game. And the Peggy ratings in Portugal used to be different than the one in the rest of Europe. Uh, like... Peggy... Like, we have, like, Peggy 3. It used to be Peggy 4 in Portugal. Um... Peggy 7 used to be Peggy 6, if I'm not mistaken. And maybe other stuff, like... Like, like there's like one year more or less dynamo on most ratings Press circle to use the dynamo and the, they switch to like the rest of the European classification at some point in the last 10 years but it's been standardized now I I don't know why there was those differences I like have these like more common age restrictions on stuff in Portugal maybe because I I think in another country it was the same or they have like, I think in Finland or something, they also had different ratings, like, they had some that were the same as Portugal, but some, even some others that weren't, like, the European ones or the Portuguese ones. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's super weird, though, but it, it was probably a legal thing or, like, a reg regulation thing. I don't know. But I always find it pretty cool. I... You know, I, I collect video... I have a collection of, like, video games, retro video games, uh, with my dad, that we've been having for years. Just like talks. <laughs> Portuguese are so different. <laughs> How old are you in Portuguese years? <laughs> oh yeah, the Dynamo is another cool thing in this game. It gets combined with the Swing Shot. Um, in Ratchet and Clank 3, which yeah, because it takes one less uh, center the camera, tap. one less slot on the on the the quick quick select here. <laughs> Death Portuguese. <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying before that. <sighs> so yeah, as I said, uh, I, 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 I hope doing more than one stream this week. Maybe three or four. Oh yeah, I killed that enemy with a wrench by accident, but that's done now. We can't fix what's broken. No, you do not have Clank uh, at the beginning of this game. Actually, like... Y you don't get him until, like... a good... Oh, maybe not quarter, maybe less than a quarter, but yeah, there's actually quite a few planets that you play without Plank in this game. Um, there's another game in the series on the PS3, A Crack in, Ta a crack in Time, which is actually my second favorite uh, game in the series, where... Um, 
Ratchet is separated from Clank until the end of the game. You only get Clank, Ratchet, and <laughs> you only get Clank. He only gets reunited with Clank at the end of the game, but there are also like solo Clank sections. Uh, they they are in every game, but since they are separated for most of the game, there are much more in this one, and there are they're also the best one. They're the best puzzles. Like in most other game, Clank sections are pretty tedious. In a cracking time, they're really good. Inflammation on our experiments wherewithal. The thief was indemnified at Megacorp's Mactar Resort. Oh, I love the Mactar Resort. Oh, a moon-sized jamming array into Mactar Resort orbit. Should I take it out? A formulas. It's disconfrapulating our annual Galactic Gladiators broadcast. See for yourself. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If yeah, you answered too. yes, you're a big, fat liar. <laughs> but that's okay, <laughs> because Megacorp is bringing Galactic Gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. First, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade. 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 <laughs> Unleashes his fury on our gladiator <laughs> guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. Oh, Take this one is so tough. Contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler. 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 No living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbonox alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, cause this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So what are you waiting for? Call now to bring chain blade and the B2 brawler is kinda hot. But put away the fine china. The other guy is too. The galactic gladiators only on Mega View. Call your provider now. I don't, I haven't said anything in the past ten seconds. I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. But yeah, um, there's probably gonna be more latency than there used to be in the streams. Shirt and shoes are required when shopping at Megacorp. Thank you for shopping at Megacorp. Please visit us. No, I didn't say anything. No, those are unbreakable. Ooh, hydration time. Let's go! I had a sip of water 10 seconds ago, but I'm getting another one. And yes, uh, this is, not only this is my favorite game in the series. This is... Probably... I... I... I wouldn't know... I, I wouldn't know... I wouldn't be able to do, like, a full ranking, I guess. But this is probably among like my top three favorite games of all time. Mostly because of nostalgia and because I just love Ratchet so much. Uh, there's a secret boss encounter here. See, there's a magnet boots surface here. But I don't have the magnet boots yet. Oh, hold on. Can I do it early? There's probably a trick to do it early. I've seen it in, sp in speedruns. Nice discount. <laughs> nah. Oh, I'm sure there's a. I, I'm I'm almost positive there's like a trick so you can uh, do the secret encounter early here. Yeah, you can't wall jump on this one. Also, the wall jump sound is still the same as in the first game, which is great. Oh yeah, weapons. Oh, I. I was saying I. I wasn't. Okay, weapons still do have, like pullout animations in this game, like they did in the first one. They're just much quicker. Much quicker and maybe a bit less characteristic. But they're completely gone in Ratchet and Clank 3. I'm pretty sure. Anyway. I've done, I've done everything to do in this place? All missions complete? Alright. 
shopping at Megacorp. Please visit us again. Anyway, I, I just love this abandoned shop section. <laughs> it's, it's such a nice vibe and the music is so like ironic. The the cozy music. I love it. And there's so much contrast between it and uh, just the vibe of the music of this planet. Yeah, they're much more simple, but at least they're here, you know? They're not just model just popping in. But yeah, they used to be like much more characteristic in Ratchet and Clank 1. I like the tractor beam one, like the little thing pulling out and the sound that it makes too. I love it. Mm, I want to buy the blitz gun before I buy the chopper. Let's go. I didn't remember that this was like the very second planet. I thought it was like fourth or something. Yes, may I help you? You know it's a girl robot because she's got eyelashes. Clank is getting yoinked, cloinked. Oh yeah, the, there's this. So there are dogfights like this in this game. Uh, more often than the first one, and they're also way more refined. They're pretty fun. It can be a bit tedious at times, but I don't know. I don't mind them. I like them being here. Certified girl, but... <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, something I like, something I find really cool is like the 3D radar right here. Uh, am I covering it? Oh, I'm covering the radar, that's a shame. Well, imagine there's like a 360 radar. Well, you can see some of it. Oh, I'm wasting missiles. I'm also getting my shield destroyed. But yeah, it, it, it looks pretty cool. Also, I think you can you can't go back to this dogfight. Um, also, there wasn't any cutscenes before, which is weird. And you can't go. I I think you can't go back to this gunfight later in the game. A uh, dogfight, while you can revisit all other dogfight levels. So maybe I'm talking out of my ass, and you can't go back to it. I'll look at it when I land on the next planet. Let's like not to gatekeep it, girl, but you folks on fire tonight. Oh, you can see the number of enemy ships. Kinda need health. <laughs> because my shields are completely gone. I've only got missiles. Oh yeah, you can upgrade your ship and customize it in this game. Which is really cool, you can also do it in Ratchet and Clank 3. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. This is like the second, le the third planet in the game and I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Isn't there any way to get more health? Oh, please leave me alone. Okay, now this is a no-hit challenge. Okay, I need to not get... Okay, I'm getting hit, but... This is a no-death challenge. And their laugh is so silly. They're supposed to be Thug for Less laughs. I don't know if these guys are the Thugs for Less. We don't get any context for this attack. And also, I'm dead. Um, where are the guys? Oh yeah, I have this to evade the fire. Forgot. 
I just wasted the next one. Come here. Yeah, the enemies are kind of elusive, unfortunately, so it's kind of hard to hit them. It's not that hard, it's just a bit annoying. Got the auto guided missiles, but I only get 10 of them. Yeah, that too. Or maybe you just like, you know, radio communicating their loves to you to intimidate you. Oh, I got a shell. You can get back your shell. You can get your shell back. Sometimes I I say stuff, and I realized it, I realized afterwards that it's grammatically incorrect, and I feel bad about myself because I'm hard on, my, on myself with my English. <laughs> but whatever, as long as I'm understood by you folks. Sometimes, yeah, everybody says stuff sometimes. It's just something people do, you know? Think about it. This was a nice multi kill here. I got back my shield as well. Oh, I'm so over these guys. Defeated. Hell yeah. Proceeding to the Maktar Nebula. Let's go. Yeah, absolutely no context as to why this dogfight happens at all. Like no small cuts saying, oh no, I'm getting attacked by bad guys or something. Nothing. They actually didn't hire proper writers until Ratchet and Clank 3, <laughs> which is why the writing in this game, in the first two games, is uh, questionable at best. These guys are so cute. These lizard guys. They show up again in Into the Nexus and they're even cuter in this, in there. I think uh, Ratchet and Clank Into the Nexus would probably be uh, one of my favorite games in the series if it was a bit longer. But it's, it's way too short. Oh, you can gamble here! Hell yeah. Get a weapon upgrade very soon. Just breaking all the crates. We're gonna get get some gambling. I love this. Oh, <laughs> this one exploded. I got bolts from this one. Oh, I love this little robot chicken dog guys also. They're very cute. Hell yeah. Yeah, they look like little dinosaurs. I don't know. They make like weird noises. If you win a certain amount of uh of bolts on these machines, you get an achievement, you get a skill point. I'm full on ammo. That's called Clank needs some new shoes, which is probably a reference to something. Bar? 
I don't know what bar does. I, I, I don't think you can get a uh, bar. I've never seen it. Okay, I'm not gonna do this for too long, but... Okay, let's get going. And break these crates. Oh, I've also got like um, alpha builds of this game that uh, leaked a few days ago that were shown in E3 and stuff, and it's really fascinating to see them. Maybe I could I could try to run them on real hardware. It would probably be pretty fun. Okay, no. So now I've upgraded Lancer. I I haven't even shown you what the Heavy Lancer does. Basically, it's just more damage, shoots faster, 100 more ammo. So, really good against bosses. Oh, I see. Okay. I, I didn't know that. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are alpha releases that... Their demos made from alpha releases or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you can find them on the cutting room floor. I don't know if they're... if it's... I mean, if... None of these prototype things have had takedown requests, so I'm assuming it's legal? I don't know. Twitch, don't ban me, please. And just in case, do not get leaked beta builds of video games online. It is not a good thing. It is illegal. Wink wink. Anyway, that's a pretty rabbit bomb now. I, I wonder what the symbol on them is. It looks like a smiley with only one eye. Which is pretty weird. It's on the projectile itself. I don't know if you can see it. These guys are hot, I think. Lizards. Yeah, they make doggy noises, but also weird chicken noises. Oh, hell yeah. So in this game, it's not gold balls? It's Platinum Bolts. And in Trichet and Clank 3, it's Titanium Bolts. Oh! Hello, Texture Warping! <laughs> so, okay, this, this is not due to any forced resolution here, because I'm not using a forced resolution. I'm using the game's native resolution, but you can see the Texture Warping here. So there were still some of this on PS2, though. It's not just the PS1. It was much more noticeable on PS1. Is there something in there here? I think that's just where I came from. How do I jump up here? I don't know. I, there wasn't a crate left, so I don't know how I did it. I right got the bolt, but whatever. Ooh, and he almost just Jump jumped wall, into the void of space here. And pressing X again as you hit it. Thank you. Ah, hell. Didn't do this on purpose. more accurately press and hold L1 more gambling machines I'm gonna destroy the one accidentally
Hell yeah. Oh no! <laughs> oh, and there's like guys in them. Why do these machines have guys in them? Why do they have little guys in them? Do they make the thing spin in the little hamster wheel? Is it what's going on? Ah, oh, it's almost exploded. Anyway, I guess that's what it, that's what happened. Oh yeah, bunch up, bunch up. They got away from me. <laughs> Ooh, no more. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do anything to them with the tractor beam. Have these guys out there. I can't, I can't even destroy their ship. Okay, got some crazy bomb ammo. Okay, it's a big quality of life thing this game does is that when you buy ammo for a weapon, you instead of like the thing being on one, it's instantly on the max ammo you can buy. Which honestly, thank you. Ooh, we got weird texture bugs here. Look. It it looks exactly like the emulator bugs that they're used to be before they fixed it. Before Ratchet and Clank was playable on PCSX2. This is so funny. I wonder if this is caused by the way I'm loading the game on the PS2. This is so weird. Oh yeah, the battle arena! Hell yeah! Ah, Curly, thank you so much for the follow. Hope you enjoy my streams. Hope you're having a good time. This guy. If he can't make it past our gladiators, he'll receive a consolation prize. Ah, oh, that's Let great to hear. Thank you begin. so much. I really appreciate everyone's presence. Whether you s you're active in the chat or not, I really appreciate having you here. So thank you so much for watching my streams. It means a lot to me. Upgrade? I guess these little guys don't give out, you know, XP3. The furry guy. Yeah, that's me. Weapon upgraded. Hell yeah. Can be the mini nuke. Use. So now both of my weapons are upgraded. And they do a mini nuke, which is really, really cute. Oh! Shello wanted an AU. Also, I completely forgot it. <laughs> Better late than never. The song on the intro was Perta Ine by Nico Nico. The first Nico is written with a C and the second is written with Q U. You wow. also love this commenter guy. I'm pretty sure it's the same voice actor as Ratchet. <laughs> You're now eligible for our championship series. Come back and fight again for big cash prizes. Which I'm about to do. Choose your And you know what? Because because it's gonna be like wasted XP. I am just going to buy the chopper now and use it. Uh I'm gonna do the challenges, I'm sorry. <laughs> Mate be a little repetitive to watch but I just love this I just love the gladiator arena so much this is a really cool weapon for uh, the arena as well it's like watching a train wreck. Wow. 
This, 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 no, this is not the, the same voice actor as, uh, as Ratchet. This is Germa. <laughs> Imagine the voice of Germa saying those announcer lines. That would be very funny, I think. Well, it's like you're watching a train wreck. <laughs> That's a very bad German impression. Sorry, chat. Like, you know this meme of German laughing at car accidents. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what the train wreck line evocated to me. Evoked? Evocated? Evoked. I haven't taken a single hit point so far. Yep, live this without a single hit point. And the prize goes to you. Ooh, chain blade. Returning to battle is everyone's favorite gladiator. Oh, just him? Okay. He dices and carves up a main dish. Please welcome Chain Blade. He's really easy. I've got my money in the long bags with spunk. Oh, so. The commander knows what the Lombax is. This is in line with the established canon. Because Lombax are like an not an extinct species, but basically they're not in this universe anymore. In that universe. You know. And I haven't played Rift Apart yet, so I don't know anything. So don't tell me anything about Rift Apart, okay? I need to get a PS. <laughs> I need to get a PS5 first. We have a winner. Is it me or did I barely get any XP for uh, beating Chainblade? From the planet Cernabella comes a okay, the, the B2 Brawler is tougher, and I forgot to buy ammo. Ah! Wow! I'm just dancing around him. Okay, didn't touch this though. Okay, he's much easier than <laughs> what I remember. Okay, no, he put me in a bad spot and I died. Oh, he had like no health. Okay, let's get back to it. Second try is gonna be. Stand back for the big and the brainy. Let's give it up for the B2 Brawler. Oh, are you kidding me? The Brawler's got all he can handle. The furry. Okay, good. I'm speedrunning them. Oh, get me away. Okay, good. Okay, I did get XP for this. Winner. Thank you, and I'm gonna buy the other Two weapon now. Let's go. Um. Oh, also, there's this challenge that you have to use like only one charger of heavy lancer to complete. You can't even use your. Uh, you can't. It, it just does this when I try to pull out my wrench. And this change is much harder if you haven't upgraded your lancer to uh, the heavy lancer because you only get you get a hundred less ammo. Yeah, right. <laughs> this was karma. to conserve ammo, like, as little shots per enemy as they need to die. Also maybe try to push some off the edge, it might be a good solution to preserve ammo. Like this. 
Okay, there's like three. I should be fine. Well, I should wait for those to punch up because they get projected when you kill them and they just bounce and do damage to other enemies. I think I'm, I'm gonna make it. Oof. Oh yeah, I can also do that. If I if I'm ever like you instantly lose this challenge if you run out of ammo. So if I get very low on ammo, this is gonna be my last resort. <laughs> left okay two rounds left gonna be careful though gonna be careful I wouldn't have made it with only two th uh, 200 bullets I think Yeah, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Why doesn't the fire damage the other guy? There you go. Easy. Yep, that's me. That's the. I'm the furry guy on the wrong page. Kill all enemies with 8 mini nuke shots? Okay. Okay, there are 4 rounds. So basically, what you want to do is punch them up. Yes, they do though, look! See? That's what I've been doing, like, for 2 rounds of this challenge. Oh, friendly fire! I see. I would have killed them both with one bullet. Anyway, I mean, if oh yeah, I I get what this why this doesn't do friendly fire. This would be a train way. They would just keep doing it otherwise. Okay, not too difficult. Let's go. Also, you know you need those bolts, so... Let's go, I'm gonna do the time challenge. I'm gonna use the blitz gun. Oh, that- okay, that's free. That's- the- the challenge is completely free now. I mean, maybe not. Hold on. Gotta stay focused to get it gotta keep moving. Two? Two enemies? Eight seconds left. There we go. Easy. You are the winner. A winner is you! Kill 60 enemies in 60 seconds. Okay. See you later! Oh no, I didn't want to quit. I thought the game crashed for a second. Thank god not. Your battle. 
What can I do? Yeah, I, I guess... I get only the Mega Challenge and Time Challenge, but... Yeah, so when you get a nanotech boost, uh, all enemies on screen. So as you can see, like uh, he your health upgrades every time the bar below it fills up in this game, instead of just having four, then five, then eight nanotech, which is, I think, a much better system. Oh wow, I'm having. Okay, this is actually faster than the other. You have won the prize. Okay, I only got the mega challenge left. Okay, that wasn't actually too long. Let's just break the crates by walking onto them. Ooh, that's a very efficient use of the weapon. That's a very powerful weapon. <laughs> Let me, let me get all the bolts. So yeah, there's a... Well, it's, it's no big deal if I spoil this to you guys. There's a second um, gladiator arena in the game. And there's a, the ultimate challenge that gives you, I think, two... 200,000 volts and it's a um, uh, hundred rounds I'm just racing through these though One ammo just for this guy. Uh, these enemies are just like balls. Okay, no ammo left of this, so I'll just use this. Hold on, dude. I get, I gotta pick up the ammo. Okay, good. Ah, I missed this one. Wow, the range is so big. <laughs> He did. I like his I like his death animation. Congratulations on winning the mega challenge. Choose a battle and win the prize. Ooh, more challenges. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, chain blade and the B2 brawler. Come on, dude. Hello. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Enter the B2 oh. brawler. This guy's on a rampage. I'm not furry this time, apparently. Is he gonna go back? Yeah. Ah, hell, they didn't hit him. Okay, I still have one. Mini nuke. On a rampage. Ah, no. Enter the B2 brother. Ah, please give me mini nukes. Yes, okay. Good. Oh, 
Okay, I gotta focus now because the B2 Brawler messed me up. Yeah, I, I think I'm... Yeah, okay, you need to... <laughs> the... I think the, the B2 Brawler is like much... Oh. Okay, I'm gonna intentionally die here because I forgot to buy ammo. Um, the B2 Brawler is much easier with Clank when you've got the long jump to run away with. Okay, let's try again. And I'll try not to waste any ammo this time. Wow, <laughs> he's already down like three, two thirds of his health. Wasted this, but at least I didn't only get one hit point. Wow, <laughs> only one minute you can he just handed it over to B2. Oh, should have broke it. Yeah. Okay, I should, should just keep away from him. Which I'm not doing right now. Okay, good. Die. Oh, come on. He's jumping back on his platform just to jump back in. Good programming. He didn't get time to get back on his platform because I just killed Chainblade instantly. That's what happened. Ooh, one HP. <laughs> no, I I won. Thank you. Yeah, that was close. Thank god I chose to go with the blitz gun and not the chopper. Okay, endurance challenge. Uh, let me sit back in my chair properly. Thank you, Shallow, for the poster check. Twenty rounds, okay. Why are they just hitting themselves? I think that's like the last challenge, maybe. We'll see. I I want to do them all, so I have a good amount of bolts going on to the next planet, so I can easily buy uh, new weapons. And I just think <laughs> I just love this arena. It's it's repetitive, but and I don't know I don't know why I like it so much, but it's like one of my favorite parts of this game. And it's good to grind for uh, weapon XP and nanotech XP as well. I didn't remember this we this weapon to be this busted. Like it's doing like oh to to these kind of enemies, it's doing virtually the same amount of damage as uh, a mini nuke. 
and the range is also really good like it reaches very far like see it's like it didn't do full damage but it still reached those guys I think the chopper is made for smaller enemies just like they can't self and stuff Okay, I'm already at round 15. I'm not even looking at the rounds. Kill me, kills. Hydration time. Let's go. Thank you, Ethan. <sighs> go fill up my water bottle soon. Oh, it's already over? We well... Ultimate challenge. 16 rounds. Oh, I'm not wasting a lot of ammo on these guys. Yeah, Chen Blade's in the middle of this, and I think it's gonna finish with the B2 Brawler, so I th I I'm gonna try to conserve all my health and be careful with the B2 Brawler. And if I really can't do it, like, I may do a second attempt if I- Oh, no. I may do a second attempt if I, um, if I mess up this one. Uh, at B2 Brawler, but I'm not gonna do much further. Much more, and... If I fail twice, I'll just um, come back when 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 uh, I when I have Clunk with me. There we go. Has been He's been defeated. That means I removed his feet. That's what that word means. That's that word means. Sorry. Then scan ammo, please. Ah, thank you. Only like halfway, really. Maybe not halfway. The feet make me strong. I actually don't know what, how the voice line sounds like because I haven't played a lot of Overwatch. Is it like a defeat? 
originally, which would make sense given the puns I was doing. Okay, I got one minion new. And it's only round 11. Do I fight them both in the last round? I wonder, like, he gets hit only once in a while here. I'm, I'm gonna use the blitz gun. Says that the fair responding. I see. Okay, how do I for this? Ah! No! Okay, I'm gonna do a second attempt, and if I can do it, as I said, I'll come back when I have clunk. Because, like, it's much easier to uh, evade the B2 brawler. Um, when you have Clank's movement possibilities. Oh, it's Doomfist, okay. I've played the Overwatch 2 beta, and... Feels the exact same as Overwatch to me. And I don't. I want to avoid paying attention to uh, Activision Blizzard. Anyway. I mean, I say that, and I play Valorant and Riot games is much better than Activision. But... Okay, I'm gonna try to focus on Chain Blade and not lose HP for no reason. Good. I don't think I took any damage here. And you know what? I'm gonna use the chopper here because I wanna conserve ammo or the blitz gun for the V2 brawler. Because don't I don't have any more mini nukes. If I could get like a nanotech upgrade right before B2 Brawler, that would be great, but I think I'm a bit too far in terms of HP for that. Okay. I got too many nukes. Maybe if I just focused on running away here and not shoot at him, things would go better. Oh, come on! Yeah, when I get far enough, I can shoot him. Oh, I only got 1 HP left. Okay. This is very close. I'm very uncomfortable. 
<laughs> oh god. Oh, sorry. My hand is like I, I needed to pause here because my hand is basically sliding off the Oh, and because I stopped moving for a second there. Okay, uh, I'll I'll get back there when I have clank. Goodbye. See ya. Okay, so these are the hacking puzzles of uh well, puzzles of Ratchet and Clank 2. You just need to uh, pay attention. And react quickly. Mom Spaghetti. It's not hands are sweaty, it's palms are sweaty. Shadow. You need to uh, buff up your Reminem lore. Did you know that the vomit that would make an he is on his Twitter already is metaphorical? It says so yeah. genius. <laughs> hey. You have no idea what you're, 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 you're involved in. Return to your own galaxy immediately. Or this will happen to you. Or this will happen to you. Ah. Oh, he dead. He fucking dead. Oh. Oh. I was about to say this is so easy. But then I lost. There we go. This is easy. <laughs> now I can say it. I think I get coordinates for Planet and Deco. I'll do the last mission in this planet anyway. Visit the arena later for more battles. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna rescue Clank next, and go back to. Uh... Go back to the arena. Try to complete the challenge again. I'll take a break in about 20 minutes. <laughs> I love this. I love carrying these little guys. I'm just victimizing them. <laughs> Poor folks. Why is he wearing a tractor belt in his suit anyway? A tractor target. Oh yeah. I need to bring this thing to the door as quickly as possible. There we go. Oh yeah, I need to bring the guy. Oh yeah, look at this, this is really fun. Like more gambling machines here. Oh no! <laughs> I just broke it. Yay! 
think my return on, on investment on gambling has been pretty good. <laughs> I did this intentionally, this is a speedrun strat. <laughs> Just believe me, okay? <laughs> Thank god it was close enough. Oh yeah, so this, these are markings on the ground so you can gauge the power you need. I've played this game so many times that it's almost instinctive how far I need to be, but this is a really, this is a kind of annoying sequence if this is your first time playing. And even then, I'm not getting it first try. Oh yes, the jamming array. Yeah, almost first try. Disable the jamming array, destroy the six transponders. So, uh, Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3 has this sort of like sub planets, small levels that you can look around like this. And the background is beautiful too. I quite like this. It kind of reminds me of uh, Mario Galaxy, and when you read the ambitions that they had for this game, it kind of sounds like Mario Galaxy at times. To attach your wrench, then walk around the platform. Hit the exposed rods to destroy the towers. I'm glad the, c the 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 corporate assist line is giving me sabotaging instructions. For a map, press select for R3. Ah. It's a bit annoying to have to hold um, down L2 to strafe all the time. In Ratchet and Clank 3 they have a camera mode where... <laughs> They have a camera mode where you, uh, where you, like, uh, can automatically strafe when you have weapons out, which is, like, really the best way to play the game. It's so good that it's actually the default camera mode on the Ratchet Gladiator. Ratchet Gladiator, if you're in the US, you probably know it as Deadlocked. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely doing uh, RNG manips here. That's that's what's happening. I I I fell completely intentionally. Oh, I I that's on me. I just literally forgot to jump. Here. Here we go. So where are the others? Is this one here? Oh, 
I like how this is like a jamming device. I don't know what signal is jamming, but like uh, they probably said it in the cutscene. I didn't pay attention, but like it's all. It's a device the size of a small planet. Probably powers itself in some way. Okay. Uh, I already went there, didn't I? Yep. So there's one of these here. Okay. Just need to go this way. Ah! Way too close to these guys. <laughs> I didn't have to shoot one more. Okay, one more uh, transmitter it's here. I get to hit to it. Uh, here, okay. I wonder, like, when I was falling down after a simple jump here, I wasn't able to do a double jump. I wonder how late you can do a double jump. It's, I think it's after you start falling, you can't do it anymore. So, the last trans... the transmitter thing is here. There's a jumping pad here, okay. Spin! Oh. I do my spin stuff and I don't get enough momentum to land on the platform. Great. Right here. Actually, this game is so cozy to me. Like, oof. I, I, I love this mini level. It's just, just a nice vibe. I want to kill these guys. And I'm done. Mission complete. Good work, my boy. You are proving to be my boy. in this underwear. Under Anywho, what? It appears the thief is now under the protection of thugs for less. But I may have found a way for you to insinuate their operation. Is it dangerous? <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, well, uh, actually, yes, it is. Good. Take <laughs> a look at this. The wind in your the sun on your skin, the bugs Oh, these guys are so cute, it's based on the bug part, but... Desert Riders. Before I became a desert rider, I didn't fit in anywhere. Oh. <laughs> I had low self-esteem, bad breath, and a thing for ladies' undergarments. <laughs> but these guys understand me. They really do. 
Yeah, I'm just here for the bake sales. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I also make these cute gloves for all the guys. So if you got, I love these guys so much. This temporary membership to enter the most grueling hoverbike race in the galaxy. Oh, and hell yeah! I love the hoverbike race. This is also the number one. The planet this cuts in the logs. Is also really desert very riders good. all use megacorp bikes, so I just had to pull a few strings. Contract me as soon as you get more indignation. This widget out. Okay, we're gonna get to Clank. Yeah, it's it's much less than a fourth of the game, as contrary to way to what I originally said. It's like the third or fourth planet you unlock. But still, yeah, you play the first few planets without Clank. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna go rescue Clank. Uh, I'll take a break. I'll do the other objective on this planet, and then I'll go. I'll go back to uh, to the arena. So the music is even similar. This is like the big city planet of this game. Like Metropolis in the previous. It is not Metropolis, it's Megapolis. And I really like the design. Ooh, I'll get the mini turret glove. Okay, I wanna get the mini turret glove first. The pulse rifle is really good too though. I'm gonna get the mini turret glove because it's it's uh, more expensive. Uh, yeah, the, the mini turret glove upgrade is really good, but the last few times I played this game, it was on emulator, and <laughs> the upgraded upgraded version of the mini turrets are <laughs> they just don't work on emulator. You, you you throw one out and it does nothing. It just does a really loud noise and just doesn't work. Maybe they fixed it in more recent versions of PCSX2? I don't know. But either way, I'm gonna try using it. Really wanna unlock the second stage, especially since it's uh, kind of a broken weapon. When it's upgraded, it's a bit weak when uh when not upgraded. Yeah, this is the right way. I don't even know if... I think this is the way to Clank's apartment, but no big deal. We'll rescue Clank after the break, if it is. There's probably a way to open this, and there's probably a... Uh... Platinum bolt. Oh, well, that's where I expected it to be, but here's one. <laughs> like, does it open here? Nope. 
Ooh, leave me alone. These guys kind of look like the the, the the flying bots that would electrocute you in Northern Frank 1. Oh, I don't have the swing shot yet. I can go there. Oh yeah, get the swing shot in, uh, in Plank's apartment. That's right. Oh, I can't wall jump here. Actually, I can, but only when the elevator is up. He's going up. Oof. Hold on a second. Okay, yeah. I was just wondering if... Um, I don't want to turn help desk messages off because I think they're part of the experience even though they bring nothing to me, but yeah. Uh. Oh. Kyo. No sight of this. Sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> I'm not that tired. Hmm. Didn't have to get up early today. Morons. Since my Morons? I'm only one. Job of taking care of you. I thought I'd come and handle things myself. If you. Oh, thank you for the pets, Shadow. Someone I'm gonna put out some turrets here. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I'm kidding it really fast. Like the common recurring trope in Ratchet and Clank games that like big bad guys are actually softies. <laughs> and wow, I killed him so fast. That's not a teleporter, that is a, that's a translocator. It's it's to find trans people. Hold on, I'll take a screenshot of that next time I see one. <laughs> hey look! This is an Insomniac game console, and look, it's Jack and Dexter. Um, back when the in that era. Hey, my old swing shot um, and grind boots. Naughty Dog and Insomniac worked in the same buildings the the and were quite friends with each other, and they would put references to each other in their games. So that's pretty cute. Also, the console gives you a lot of bolts, a thousand. Fridge. Why does your fridge need an antennae? Or like... An alarm thing? I don't know. Oh wow, look at the skyline. Really neat. Really neat picture. Also... <laughs> Do robots really need to work out? Can Clank lift this? Maybe it's for Ratchet. Swing shot target detected. Press and hold circle to shoot the swing shot. Use L1 for better aiming. Sorry, that swing shot. Swing shot <laughs> That swing shot target detected voice line is making me think of that stupid white woman detected meme. <laughs> okay, I'll take a screenshot of this. For when you for for when you wanna find trans people. Oh no! I just 
almost side flipped my death here. Okay, chat, it's been like exactly two hours since I started streaming. Um, let me buy ammo. So, I'm gonna go on a approximately 10 minute break. Um, just have a snack, rest up, stretch, get some fresh air outside. And then I'll come back. So yeah, I'm gonna put you some music on during the break. So sit tight, don't go anywhere. BRB.
I'm back. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the music. It was the first three track from the Reset EP from Archetype. Tracks for name Arcturus, Ascension and Reset. As an outro, I will play the last track from that EP called Speakeasy. Let's get back into the game. So, we're gonna rescue Clonk. Clonk. And then we're gonna take a crack at that arena again. Easy. I have way much less trouble with this one than uh, the one in Roger and Clank 1, as you can see. I really like this weapon, even though it's like not great to use, at least it's very satisfying. <laughs> And I, 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 I really think that um, weapons in Return of Two are the best. I don't know how it happened, but I have only two HP units left. WB? What do you mean? Oops. Gotta pay attention. Oh no, I didn't see this one. Ah, welcome back, okay. There we go. Oh yeah, the crane, super fun. I actually go kill the enemies with the weapons just to get the XP, but you can drop you can actually pick up the... Okay, I'll show it. I'll show it because it's funny. So, you're supposed to take blocks up like that. And you can drop them, you can drop them on enemies. Okay, you can't pick up these guys, but... Okay, I'll go kill these guys first. I say as I have 1 HP left and I'm dead. Things happen, okay? Yeah, I'm a hacker. That's where I am. You know I'm a hacker because I played Tetris on my mini disc player yesterday. Well, it's a hack that somebody else made, but you feel pretty hacky doing that. <laughs> I did hack through uh, something that made me make the news though. Um, Shadow here probably knows the story, but if anybody here doesn't know, um, it's basically a, a kitchen appliance that does like mixing and stuff, like a thermomix if you see what that is. Um, there's a cheap version that Lidl was selling, probably still selling, I think there's uh, like a new version out that came out this year or last year. Um, but anyway, the thing was running, The it, it's, it was supposed to be a, like a smart thing, like you know, you can like touch, there's a touch screen and you can download recipes and it works on the Wi-Fi and stuff. And the, the thing they they embedded in it is an Android tablet, so um, it was pretty easy to hack, and I hacked it, and I made the news because uh, initially my goal was to install Doom on it, uh, because you know, everything runs Doom and it's kind of a meme. To post it on Reddit and Twitter, uh, I I'm actually one of the top posters of of all time on Reddit, on uh, the It Runs Doom subreddit, which is really cool. Um, 
And the journalist contacted me and wanted to talk about how I made the hack, how I made run Doom run on this. But the thing is, I discovered something while hacking it. Um, I installed Discord, so it's an Android tablet, right? So I did the steps to just get the Google Play Store. And I downloaded Discord on there. <laughs> and, because I wanted to get in... Basically, so I didn't do this alone, I did this with a friend called Sinuzo, and we did this because uh, somebody told, dared him to do it and for like uh, a restaurant meal, so he wanted to do it. He called me because he's the one who figured out it was an Android thing. And I, I didn't do the hack myself, to be honest, I, I, I got it from a German tutorial. I had to infer a lot of stuff because the tutorial is not very well formatted on GitHub. Uh, ooh, so yeah, you can pick up that guy, which is very funny. So yeah, so I downloaded the Discord, got in a call with that friend to just so that he is, and we could send him a picture of us calling him on Discord with the with that appliance. And we got into a call, and we like he, he he spoke, and like we didn't exp that. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to do uh, proper storytelling, but basically we were talking with uh, my friend Sinizo, and oh, this guy is hiding, coward. And. Uh, 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 <laughs> And he's, he said, I can hear you guys. And we're like, what the fuck? Turns out the thing had a microphone in it because they made it from a cheap Android tablet. And they didn't bother removing the microphone. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> and so, yeah, there was a microphone in it. Um, so... When the journalist... I, I didn't post about this on Twitter, I don't really know why, but when the journalists asked me questions, like if there were interesting stuff uh, beyond the uh, Doom thing, I mentioned this, and you know, it's a pretty serious thing that there's a working microphone in a device that is not supposed to have one. That is not advertised to have one. It's a pretty, it's a pretty di big deal. You agree? So the article took this angle, like, why does this device have a microphone? And like, in the matter of a few hours, all the French press was talking about it. <laughs> it was very overwhelming. And so we made the news for this, and I even got interviewed for uh, the, the news program of the biggest TV channel in France and they're still my face on TV in their archives and on my computer because I downloaded the, the replay of uh, the news edition from that night, so yeah. Basically I made the news for this, so I guess I'm kind of a hacker. I'm not I don't know much about cryptography and exploits and stuff. I know my way around Android devices, that's the biggest thing. That's what permitted me to hack it, you know? So I'm not like a professional hacker or anything, but... I can do stuff. Yeah, I did. Clank? Okay, Clank, don't move. I I'm coming down. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> <a> quark! <laughs> this right, thief buddy. is so good. I love, I love them. Yes, 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 I'm streaming in English, uh, Emily. Or Stravis. Hello, good evening to you. Also, yes, I'm streaming in... Sometimes I'm streaming in French, sometimes in English. Um, tonight I'm streaming in English. Oh, that's cool! Are, are, they, are they not... Uh, where are you in the trilogy? Because... I've heard that the... Vita trilogy is pretty glitchy 
and that there are safe corruption were <laughs> safe corruption issues in Ratchet and Clank 2 on PS Vita. That's kind of annoying. Final digit of pi is Clank. Clank, can you hear me? Ratchet, where are we? Hmm. He's not dead. I must have dozed off. Don't sweat it. Let's just find a way out of here. I believe that air duct may offer our only way out. Yep, he was about to see to say it before uh, Ratchet got him up. That's a nice gag. Also, if you don't get what Stravis said, brains in the kitchen. It's like stereotypically one of the first sentences in English that is taught to you in school, in front in France schools. So, it's this it's these adorable little guys again. Hold triangle and select a command. So it works the exact same as in Ratchet and Clank 1 so far. Where is Brian? Brian is in the kitchen! <laughs> oh yeah, the platinum bolts. Uh, well, I'm not going for them. Um, I'm not, like, if I find some on my way, it's fine. I, I, I like, I finished this game so many times before. But, uh... Yeah, I don't want to do a... Uh, generally, when I do completionist runs, I do it on NG+. So, in addition to Ratchet & Clank 1... Uh, they can't follow me. Yeah. So, how do I get past this guy? Hold on. Yeah, I found one earlier, actually. Um, I found one earlier. I did. There's probably more than one on this. Oh, yeah. So, there are more robots. There are more guys. And the new guys just look so goofy. I love them, too. So, this guy, he does bridges. Oh yeah, there's a skill point to destroy everything too. That's right. <laughs> well, you don't need to backseat me. I've like played this game so many times as well. I'm just, I'm just playing casually, just to chill out. And there's this big guy. Lifter bot acquired. Use it to lift large blocks. Basically, his thing is that he's strong. <laughs> oh, they're so cute though. I love them. They don't attack though. They're much bigger than the little guys, but they're harmless. Let's make a bridge here. Lads, attack! Um, okay, <laughs> the dude was blocking them. Ooh, cool. Have you, have you, uh, have you played those before? Have you played the PS3 games? This door requires microbots to open it. I haven't played Rift Apart yet. I haven't even seen a PS5 in person yet. <laughs> So, but yeah, I'm so looking forward to play Rift Apart. Well, the PS3 games are really good too. Um, Tools of Destruction and uh, A Crack in Time are so, so, so good. Into the Nexus is good too, but it's short. Oh, I do like, I, I, I do like Gladiator though. I do like, it's different. <laughs> Has a different vibe. Do it. But you did great. I don't know. Now, let's go get that experiment back. I plan on getting to it uh, at some point. Yes, deadlocked in the oh, US. It's Gladiator in the UK and Australia. Planets for available missions. And it's Ratchet and Clank 4 in Japan too. So something I always do with Clank in 2 and 3 is use a thruster pack instead. For a much higher jump, hold R1 and press X. 
Because I don't, I just like the feel of the thruster bike better. To jump long distances, oh, this is the NT ver and the NT version of the game, the but I'm playing on a, um, on a hacked PS2, so I I have a copy of the game. To jump long don't question distances. it, <laughs> but uh, I I wanted the 60 FPS <laughs> and the English to subtitles because I think there's no yeah, subtitles in the I European version for some reason. Also, where do I need to go here again? Oh yeah, there's 60 FPS on the PS3 remaster, right? Um, I don't have my PS3 at home here, and yeah, it's a port of the PS3 port, and it's got <laughs> it, it's got some bugs in it. The PS3 port is weird. If you look at Ratchet's helmet in Ratchet and Clank 2 and 3, you're gonna notice that it's bigger than the PS2 version and just kind of floating. There's also like these call screens where all the characters are squished. Um, also, the sound effect, they're supposed to have like variable pitch so that they don't all so always sound the same. In the PS3 version and the PS Vita version, uh, they they didn't port this feature for some reason, or like didn't it didn't work when porting, and they didn't notice it. So it's kind of it's kind of jarring to me to uh, play the PS3 version. The high res is really nice, and the 60 FPS too. Oh oh yeah, scratch discs. Such a such a pain. I I talked about it when I played Ratchet and Clank one. When uh, the loading screens are like the ship going through space to the next planet, and it used to distress me so much when I played my scratch discs as a kid because they would just be stuck in space forever, and I thought, oh god, they're never getting out of here. <laughs> this is just, you know, the when when you when you go to another planet like this, like I'm about to do, it's a loading screen. Uh, the thing that didn't get ported, well, basically, like, uh, there are sound effects uh, that have variable pitch. Like, if I die here, and if I die again, you're gonna hear Ratchet's stream is gonna have a different pitch. Okay, not here. You see, it has, it, it was slightly lower here. It was slightly lower. And, um, so there's variable pitch for sound effects, so they don't all sound the same. And on the PS3 version, they're all stuck on the highest pitch. Ratchet's scream when he falls down is super high pitch in the PS3 version, it's weird. It's, it's not bad, it's not like unplayable, it just has minor polish issues. Not Polish, as in someone from Poland, of course, but... <laughs> um, oh yeah, so I want to do the last challenge now that I have Clank. It will be much easier to uh, evade the B2 Brawler now. So yeah, it, th there's, there's little stuff in the PS3 port that makes it a little bit jarring. Like, it's, it's definitely a good experience to have the game in full HD. In, in 60 like strong frames and even then there's like slowdowns in the PS3 version from time to time not that there isn't in the PS2 versions but to me like the ultimate Russian Clank experience and that's just nostalgia speaking here nothing more is <laughs> on a on a CRT <laughs> what you know not a lot of people have CRTs nowadays I don't But I, I still just generally prefer the PS2 version in general. Choose a battle and win a Oh and now I'm I also have the miniature glove, so it's gonna be easier to defeat bosses with it. Yeah, I really need the CRT as well. Um but it's pretty expensive. Uh, I, you you can get good old ones from like so people wanted to get rid of them because they're too they're taking too much space. But I gotta find someone like this. <laughs> and even then, you don't know what you get. You know, mo mo most all TVs are all right. 
they're, they're just fine and they're good good CRTs they're gonna deliver on the CRT experience but I would love like a sunny PWM professional monitor thing but it, it's so expensive oh yeah 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 um I went to that shop they had one um I told them I was interested but ultimately I I, I couldn't I couldn't buy it because I didn't have much money at the time, and I, I, I didn't find anyone in the moment that they were selling them to help me uh, transport them to my place. Uh, Sony PWM, so it depends on the model, but uh, if you... If, like, not below a hundred euros, and if you want to get a really good one, like, not like there are like 14 inches one which are really small if you want to get a bigger one like a 17 inches it's more gr it, a good model is going to be more like 400 euros which is like you know way more than it's reasonable to spend in this kind of things in this economy <laughs> Okay, how's, how's season 4, uh, how do you like season 4 so far? Okay, see ya! Have a, have a nice show, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Okay, cool. I, I still have to watch it. I I have the week off, so I should probably find the time to watch it this week. I'm still apprehending that I'm not gonna like it. Why? Last time, I, last try I did, the B2 Brawler was on wave... Uh, it was on wave 10. But I remember that the first time it was on wave 12, so it's like... Okay, now it's wave 11, so it's probably variable. Stand back for the big and the brainy. Let's give it up for the B2. See you. Where did this guy come from? Oh no. Oh wow, the turrets! They're <laughs> doing so much damage. He's just gonna wipe them off though. Here. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Well, nice. Good! It's dead. See you! Thank you so much. I think the last round is like both of these guys. out of stars so I'm just gonna let the turrets do the job for me okay it's actually busted even on the first stage Yeah. He needed to land for his death animation to start. That's really funny. Okay. Please do the chop for me, turret. Oh, 
I've got two HP. Okay, okay. I've got two HP, I gotta focus. Uh, I think I'm almost out of ammo, so... I'm out of ammo on every weapon I have. Oh, I did I didn't intend to die here, but <laughs> Yeah, I uh I didn't fall intentionally, but I don't think I would have been able to finish off to finish it off as a I don't think I would have been able to finish it up with the wrench. The the way there's probably a way to do it, but uh, with one HP it would have been really difficult. I really want to get done with this challenge. I w I, I want to complete it. Oh no! Forgot to switch weapons. Okay, I'm not gonna wa waste ammo on these guys. I think the XP is just not good enough. Okay. Bella comes a colossal creation. Stand back. For the big and the great. Let's give it up for the B2 Roller. Okay, let's shoot it. And uh, I can also run from it with Clank now. I, I went to clank to free clank for this purpose. And I'm not <laughs> Oh come on uh, Nah I'm not uh. Oh no Okay one more try, one more try. Hopefully I'll get a... Blitz gun upgrade. And... It's gonna refill my ammo to the max. And so I'll be able to use it on the B2 Brawler. Or maybe I should... I'm gonna use the turrets on... Uh, on Chainblade. Uh, so I have... So I have... Uh, mini nukes left for... Uh, the B2 Brawler fight. Okay, you know what? 
The biggest challenge in this is that there are no ammo refills, basically. Oh, come on! Okay, I won't get an upgrade this try. It's okay, I'll get it, like... ...in a couple attempts. Oh, come on! Yeah, there's still two. Two of them. All my mini nukes here. Stand back for the big and the brainy. Let's give it up for the B2 Roller. The Roller's got all you can handle. Okay, good, 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 good. Awesome. Oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna use my range as much as I can to preserve ammo, at least for turrets. time things right, they don't have an opportunity to... Uh... Okay. Oh, come on! Oh, okay, one HP left. I'm gonna die to Chain Blade. Oh no, I died to a fucking ground hazard. I'm, I'm gonna do it, chat. I'm, I'm gonna succeed. I know it. Patience is I'm gonna 
focus and try not to get hit and just like not land on hazards and stuff. Everyone's favorite blood eater. He slices, he dices, and carves up a main dish. Please welcome Chain Blade. The furry guy is on a rampage. Chain Blade's really got his hands full with this one. Oh, come on. Okay, good. Chain Blade has been defeated. It's like watching a train wreck. Wow. I need to conserve ammo and not get hit. I'm gonna use the blitz gun on big enemies still. You get way less XP on uh, the second visit to your planet, you get like a lot less. This is also why it's recommended to do uh, as many arena challenges as you can on your first visit. This one done pretty quickly. Target it. Ah, oh, only four HP left again. Okay. Is everyone's favorite blood eater? He slices, he dices, and carves up a main dish. Please welcome Chain Blade. Nope. Ah. Uh -uh. Okay, we're at B2 Brawler again. I have 3 mini nukes. I have 8 mini turrets. Okay. No! Oh. I can do it. If I got this close, it means I can do it. Oh, this guy's on a rampage. 
So the main difficulty in this challenge is that there's no... Uh, you see, usually there's drops on these little platforms here. Uh, that give you nano tech and uh, weapon ammo, um, but not in this time. And that's where most of the difficulty comes from. The stage hazards also stay on like the whole time. Forgot to use a weapon to upgrade with him, but it's okay. I gotta pay attention to the hazard to the hazards. It's so bullshit that they hurt you, but not the enemies. Come on, it's so close to grading. Oh never mind, they do hit the enemies. It's probably in Russian Rank 3 that doesn't hit them. Attempt. Okay, great. You you get it instantly before they're even like back on the ground. When the hazard like switches. Like I'm the run I'm gonna win is going to be the one where I basically like where uh where I have a weapon upgrade happening. During it. I, I nearly jumped into a hazard and that just threw me off. That was close again. Careful about hazards. The thing is, like, I fo when I say I need to focus, I focus for like 15 seconds and then I forget. <laughs>
Oh, come on. Just because he didn't want to target it properly. Yeah, focus. I'll focus. I'm gonna focus. I'll try to kill him with the wrench. Come down. Come down, coward. Ah. Yeah, got him. Oh, this is... <sighs> when I get too close to those things with the wind-up animation of the wrench hit, it's really frustrating. like the last hundredth of this weapon upgrade so long to get yeah <laughs> it's so frustrating <laughs> Okay, I'll use all of my choppers on it on him. He takes a quite a bit of damage from a hyper strike. Also, he's not attacking right now. He's just Okay. Sure dude. Okay. Oh. That was karma, I deserved this. No, I wanted to jump! Okay, he did. Okay, he's gonna come from here. I'm gonna get him, I'm gonna get him. One HP again. Uh, I'm gonna keep trying until I succeed, chat. Sorry. <laughs> I'm stubborn. Almost, I'm also most convinced that the upgrade bar is completely stuck. Yeah. 
Yeah, I can. I know I can. I've done it before. I just need to get the reflex of uh, moving away from the B2 brawler easily. It's really hard on the last fight because... Because uh, there's the terrain hazards. Okay. He's taking a lot of damage from the ranch. It's not that hard to kill with it. I'm gonna keep that in mind. Because that can save a lot of ammo. Yep. Here. Oh god. Okay. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> yeah, if Retrof left, it makes sense. There are like ranch upgrades in this game that make the ranch do more damage, uh, and they didn't do it again ever. Okay. So that's done. If I don't, I'll I'll probably get the upgrade next run. Probably. Look at the bar here. <laughs> they they died from the flame. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. The... Oh! The... The annoying thing about the star launcher... Is that... It immobilizes you when you use it. So you gotta use it in the air if you don't want this to happen. Just figure this out. Okay, he dead? Nope. No! Uh, the thing is, with the camera, it's so difficult to uh, to see where you're going. It's difficult to keep track of the boss's movements, his attacks, and the the, the stage hazards. 
It's very cruel because this this is a boss that you have to keep away from you. You have to move. Because it constantly closes in on you and when it does, it just swipes you off and you have like very little hope of recovering. Come on! Such a bullshit way to get damage. This is a skill issue. <laughs> and I get burnt. Like, they put a ridiculously easy boss and a ridiculously hard one. I'm just gonna finish him off with a... With the wrench. Okay, good. Has been defeated. It's like watching a train wreck. Wow. Come on, just a few more. Okay. Also creation. Stand back for the pig and the brain. Let's pick it up for it. Come on, how to roller. The furry guy is on a rampage. The crawler's got all he can handle. No, I wanted to get away. Oh, oh I how do you want me to dodge this? This is so cruel. This, this is a very cool boss. Uh, very frustrating boss. And like, I, I don't believe I'm playing badly at this game. I'm not like speedrun on levels of skill, but... Maybe with like more weapons. More diverse weapons. Bit it more is it? I would beat this challenge more easily in general if I had more weapons. That's the most. Okay. Oh no, I only had one HP left. It's okay, I keep making it to the last round. I'm gonna get lucky eventually if I don't <laughs> beat it with scale. And anyway, look, my bolt count is slowly increasing after each attempt. So at least I'm not losing bolts doing this. 
even though I have to buy ammo every time. The bar is like almost full here. It's just a little bit missing. Come on. Is everyone's favorite gladiator? He slices, he dices, and carves up a main dish. Please welcome Chain Blade. Uh, why am, I, why am I doing this? No, it's not. It's not broken. It's just, it's just like this. This is why I also wanted to do all the, all the challenges on my first visit. Maybe I'm kind of wasting ammo here. Is the chopper instead? Because I don't use it for anything else. I keep <laughs> got hit so many times, and I forgot to defeat him with the blitz gun to get his XP. Come on, it's just... I was like far away from it, but because I hit with my wrench, it just carried me forward. Thing is, I need to get this upgrade in the middle of a run, because if I don't, then uh, it's gonna be annoying. <laughs> I shot a bomb in Okay, good. Good, good, good. Only took one hit from him. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the upgrade this time either. Yep, no upgrade. I'll use this. Leave me alone? Leave me alone. Thank you. Okay, where is he? Okay, yeah. Oh! Why do I do that? And why did it stop doing damage to him?
Did you say another alien bites the dust? That's pretty funny. Try to not lose any of Yeah, right. I throw these on the one jumping. Ah, I got hit. And I got hit again because I'm not paying attention. Okay, good. So close. Thing is, when you're running away, you don't have a lot of uh, leeway. You gotta get far away enough, I suppose. I I don't know why I can never grab the ledge here. I should be able to grab the ledge. Like the bar here, it looks full. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I get a launch. I get a run away from the B2 brawler. And then throw turrets. Because it's like passive damage, you know? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna have 4 HP to deal with the B2 brawler. Thank you. 
also have three mini nukes left. He starts shooting so fast too! Okay, he's gone back up. Okay, 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 okay. He dead, he dead, I did it! Ooh! We took our time chat, but we made it. And with that, we get all the challenges. And we can buy this. Zoom in with the pop. <sighs> okay, chat. Tomorrow, uh, no promises. Um, so I want to play VR chat a bunch, so I can. Uh, I can get the, f the the possibility to upload my avatar. Uh, so I'm gonna just hang out a lot with a friend tomorrow in VR chat. Uh, maybe I'll stream it if I feel like it, and if if they're fine with it, we'll see. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm gonna play some more. I feel like going for some more. <laughs> like probably like. Half an hour more. Like, I do this planet and then I'm done, I think. For a map, press select for R3. So there's this new weapon, the Seeker Gun, it's pretty good. Oh, my favorite enemies! The big guys here! They look like the pinky demons from Doom, kinda. Ah, finally! Took its sweet time. Awesome. I'll do the chopper next. Yeah, they do! Yeah, they're very cute. I want to ride them like those uh, tribal dudes. Oh, also, there's a bunch of a bunch of races. Triangle to switch between recently used items. Uh, to do uh, on this planet. See how, how much faster the XP is going on this planet with these enemies. Like, I kill one enemy, you can see how much the bar progresses. Like, <laughs> this is why you gotta, when you're on a new planet, you absolutely have to use your uh, weapons that you still need to upgrade. Here, I'm gonna get a number. No, look, the bar looks like it. it's like overflowing. Yeah, okay, one more enemies, and there we go. Multi star, right? Okay, I guess I gotta upgrade this now. Oh, hold on. I can even do like something like uh, this.
I love the sniper rifles and <laughs> Poor doggies. Yeah, there's no uh, bestiary yet. It's not unlocked yet. Oh, I love this place. It's just so cool. Th this planet. I like this planet. I, I generally don't like desert planets, but... No, no, I think this one is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm heading the right way. This one is progressing very fast, the uh, pulse rifle. their job it's fine uh, they're they're actually very good even when not upgraded Should I have a look? My word! <laughs> you young people are so fresh these days. <laughs> oh, don't feel bad. I guess I'm just old-fashioned about that sort of thing. Or Did you know that I've been with Gadgetron since the beginning? So you sell these gadgets? Darling, they sell themselves. So yeah, uh, since I have uh, Return of Link 1 save, um Oh, I should have been getting all of these for free except the Rhino too. <laughs> oh, it's they're pretty cheap though. They also kind of suck, so I'm not going to get them right away. So yeah, it this is like proof that Gadgetron used to have a presence on the on this galaxy. But Megacorps proceeded with This feels so fucked up. I'm just shooting at dogs with automated turrets. you in here get lost for a flatten your robot Beauty into guy. a hubcap touch him and it's plasma city oh gosh you didn't have to yell Aww. <laughs> why did he have to yell oh uh, poor lad hey man i can't hear you la, 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 la. <laughs> only the little guy sir it is okay we are your fellow desert riders you're so you understand my Sensitivity? These dudes Absolutely, are so gay. Sir. We just came here to race. Well, you can borrow my bluebell, so long as you're gentle. She just needs a few repairs. Hang in there, my brother. Bluebell is in good hands. Mm. <laughs> so I'm not hacking it, I'm repairing. Yeah, it's not 
as much as hacking mini games is like restore power to uh, equipment, I suppose. No, I thought the other one was gonna come first. Good. The race is so cool. So basically the strat here is to never stop boosting. Oh wow, what happened here? Oh no! <laughs> it sets you back so far, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this shouldn't happen. It's like... I'm, it's like in Mario Kart 8, I'm actually glad they made Lucky 2 react so much faster to you falling. Because like... In previous Mario Karts, like, if you fell down, like on... Um... Rainbow Road, and even if you were first, you, you, you basically go last. And this is what's happening here when you crash down, it's pretty annoying. It's okay, I'll make it up, I'm, al I'm already like... Sixth, so... You're trying not to do the same thing again, obviously. Oh wait! Get that boost. They're all here, I'm gonna. Second. Oh no, I got. I don't have boost anymore. Ah, hell. It's okay, it's okay, chat. Yeah, Rainbow Road is. Just, it's Rainbow Road, you know? It's where you go when you die. It's a road we're all gonna go. And I didn't get the boost. I think it's over. Uh, there's a chance. There's a chance. Never don't give up. It's Rainbow Road. It's where you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! First try. It's pretty close, though. Buddy, here, take this helmet so the guys know you're one of us. <laughs> you, so oh, cute. You can come with a message from the boss. Attention, all thugs for less employees. First of all, whatever slug brain's been eating all the choochy bars in the break room, better quit stuffing his face. Hello? Hey, turn those lights off. <laughs> it's bad feng shui. Ahem. Next, our space rendezvous point has been moved to rendezvous. <laughs> That's the how you say. I mean, it's a uh, like. Five. If you're no good with numbers, find a buddy to help you. <laughs> Lastly, the company. It's it's a loan word. You can Don't say it in. Bring your own juice this time. But hey, even as a loan word, would. You the English pr pronunciation right. wasn't good here. You, you don't, don't say this the, the I think. Yes, he loves us. Yes, sir. I do feel his affection. Did you see that broadcast? Not really. We should scope out. That <laughs> <laughs> he just yes, bounces it off. That's very cute. Spray transmissions. Uh, I want to do more races because bolts. With weapons and turbos, great. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> what? 
What do you mean not use the weapons once? Oh nice, I get a shield. It's useless because enemies don't use weapons yet in this race. And it's temporary. I had a lot of trouble with these races as a kid. That's because I didn't get I didn't have the strategy of the level. Never not be this thing. And also, um, I don't know if you can feel it on video, but the the the, the cart is oh whoops. I'm still first though, I got so much uh I'm so much ahead that I'm first, still. Wow. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Oops, not boosting anymore. Still too much ahead to get it more taken. I'm, I'm, all, I'm about to overtake the last, uh, last guy. Look, I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> That's what you get for being a sucker. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. What I was saying is, I don't know if it translates well to video, but the card is very heavy to turn. Whoops. Easy. Wait. Yeah, challenge four. Okay, this five challenge. Yeah, it, it has a lot of inertia. You have to take super wide turns. I think that's gonna be a shortcut. Yes. Is it really a shortcut if everybody's taking it? Well, yes, I suppose it is. I don't know. A shortcut... <laughs> okay, let's get into the definition of a shortcut. It's... A shortcut from the main road, alright? That's... An alternate route from the one that's considered the main one on a track or on a road. And if it's not the main one, it means it's not the like one that people take the most. So if everybody takes a shortcut, I don't think it's a shortcut anymore. It's just the it's just the way. Also the you'll see that I'm gonna jump up. A lot. Yeah, I went to 11th the second because since not every single character takes it, the the position tracking gets kind of lost and thinks that the racers that don't take the shortcuts are ahead of you. Yeah, the main road becomes the long cut. Also, there's a titanium bolt around here, but I don't want really to risk going for it. Ah, stayed a long time over there to go there. I'm still first. But if anybody overtakes me, I just gotta not crash here. If anybody overtakes me, I can just shoot them down. I also crossed the last one. Okay, good. I'm gonna be good. Easy. First try still. Rest okay, the racers are gonna start to attack now. But the it's pretty easy to dodge their attacks. So I'm not too worried. 
Oh no! Uh, I should have waited until they were all on the same level. Because I would have killed multiple of them and would have came first. I'm just gonna wiggle or like hold a, a turn and it just disappears. They stop targeting you. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> I killed them all. Oh! Karma. Okay, I'm second step. Oh, I'm first. Whoops. Yeah, you gotta wiggle. Oh, he crashed on the animal here. Okay, one last lap. If you wiggle, they just lose your target, so... Awesome. Expert circuit. I always miss the boost before this place. <laughs> Jump from 12th to 2nd. Ooh, the first has like a long way ahead. Not anymore. Nice, I got a shield. Okay, didn't miss it this time. I did, I think. <laughs> right. I'm still gonna be left without the turbo. Doing it, chat. Oh, fuck. Okay, I should the I should keep the boost before this shortcut uh, until like after I get on the boost pad because the boost pad resets your boost timer and you basically waste what you had left of your previous boost. Hell yes! Well, that's refreshing. <laughs> I completed all the races first try, which is really refreshing after failing so hard at the arena. I'm such a gamer, chat.
No, I can't even buy this. And you know what? I'm even going to go see the Gadgetron lady. And get the Gadgetron weapons now that I have many more bolts. Then I'm gonna do the other mission. Uh, of uh... No. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna give her money. So yeah, a lot of weapons cost zero because I have a wretched strength save. But hell yeah. So, I'm gonna get the Rhino too when I get a billion bolts. A million, million. Also, the Ratchet & Clank 1 weapons don't upgrade. Even though they had an upgrade in Ratchet & Clank 1, I think it's kind of a missed opportunity. They didn't have an upgrade per se, they have a gold variant, which is one you can purchase with gold bolts after you finish the main game. I also like how it's very subtle, but different parts of uh, one planet will have um, a varying, like uh, a, uh, a different variation of the stage music, which is really cool. When you think about it, um, like, music in movies is able to convey um, the mood of the scene and stuff. In a video game, generally, what the music conveys is where you are, is the location. Except like on Final Boss, but most of the time. And that's... I think that's a pretty interesting observation of how... differently um, movies and video games use music. It's not like a golden rule, like if it, you're gonna have like final boss music and stuff, but like, you know, a music for our level, it's supposed to be representative of that level, you know? It has this extra job, but it also often only conveys it, you know? Generally, that's the main thing that music in a video game does. Um, and that's that. That's why. That's what. Um, if you played the Doom games, you probably did. That's what Mid Garden tried to depart from, and ID Software tried to depart from with Doom 2016 and Doom 20 uh, and Doom Eternal. Like they have repeated tracks through several levels, but the music has like different. Um, measures of melody that are played depending on what's happening, what weapons you're using, uh, if the, how many em enemies are in screen, this kind of stuff. It's extremely interesting. It tries to... so yeah. Yeah, there's danger music when there are enemies and stuff. You know, generally it's like a variation of the level theme, you know? Oh, continue all the- wait. Yeah. I'm not going backwards, am I? No. Oh, this guy, that's a Gadgetron guy, it's one of the guys from the first game. It works! My invention works! Huh? It's called the Terminator. It fires charged thermal pellets that can thaw an ice block or freeze a body of water. Gadgetron will pay me millions. Hey, I don't know how long you've been frozen, but I don't think Gadgetron's operated in this galaxy for years. Everyone buys Megacorp products these days. 
Maybe you'd like what, to buy it. Why, what, why is that an issue? Why wouldn't he be... Why wouldn't he able to sell it to Megacorp? I don't get it. Hey, maybe Megacorp is hiring. Yes. Use the Terminator to thaw ice. Just get a job, dude. Get, staying frozen in ice isn't a job. Also, this dude seems pretty okay with like having been frozen for for years. Maybe he didn't have many friends or family or something. Hold on. Hey, my controller isn't responding anymore. Hold on. Gonna unplug it and replug it. Hello? I think my game has frozen. Okay, chat BRB when I restart uh, my... My PlayStation. I hope I didn't lose my progress. Hold on. Just... It's, this will just take a minute. It's me, it's me, I'm big, I'm big, I'm big, it's me! <laughs> okay. The game should be launching again. I hope it saved my uh, settings that I don't want the game in 16x9 and uh, in progressive scan. You can't skip the opening cutscene, it's annoying. Okay, yeah, the moon is squished, it's back in 16 by 9. Oh yeah, I'm calling it Ratchet and Clank 2, but it's going commando since... Uh... Oh, it doesn't save it. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Oh. Okay, that looks good. I don't know what happened here. Maybe it's with the save file though. Yeah. I lost my save file chat. It did not save anything. I'm gonna check the VOD real quick. I'm gonna check the VOD real quick. Maybe... Uh, maybe I made a mistake and started a game without uh, creating a save file. In any case, I think I, I'm just gonna check this. I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm gonna check this after. Um, I'm just gonna end the stream <laughs> because I I wanted to end the stream anyway. I don't know why my game crashed. Uh, I I was about to end the stream anyway. I'll just find a save file or something. Uh, I'll play back to where I was. It's gonna take some time, but <laughs> great. <laughs> Sorry about that chat. It's okay, I had fun. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna manage this, but I'm going to. Don't worry. Uh, okay, I'm gonna find someone to raid. Is there anyone I can raid? 
none of my friends are alive. None of my friends are alive, so I'm gonna raid someone else. Uh, who haven't I raided before? Okay, chat. Sorry, I, f I feel a little bit down. I don't know who to raid. Uh, who will care about free viewers coming in on their stream? I'm sorry. Don't have a friend with few viewers who would really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm really sorry, chat. Um, <laughs> took a long time to beat all the arena challenges for nothing. <laughs> okay, that's a bit of a bummer, but I'll live through it, don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna play the outro now. No raid for tonight is fine. Thanks everyone for hanging out. See ya. Good night.